to World Drum Club. I'm Kalani, your host and teacher. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play a basic tumbao, or what we would call an ostinato, if we want to be fancy about it. Basically, just a word for groove or pattern. It's the kind of thing you do when you just want to support other players, play along with some other instruments uh, in an ensemble, and just kind of create a basic rhythm for singing or dancing or whatever you want to do. All right, so let's get to it. I've got one of my favorite drums here. If you saw the other video in the 6-8 meter, you know this is the Valgi Super Tumba. Oh my God. It's beautiful. Uh, American oak, handmade on the Sunset Valgi factory back in the 70s. I got it 1980-ish, early 80s, and it's never been on a gig, never been out of the house. <laughs> it's huge. It's bigger than me. All right, so you can look up Valgi if you want to check out more about that. That's just another uh, tidbit of information. Um, what I'm going to do is hold the drum. I'm going to tip it a little because I like that. I like that bass. This drum is huge. It's low. It's just nice, warm. So we're going to go with an easy version, just like I did on the 6-8 video. If you haven't watched that one, go check it out. We're going to start with the easy alternating hand pattern. And we're going to learn how to play a basic tumbao. So this is something that you could do if you're a beginner, if you're a music teacher, you could teach this to your beginning drumming students. Um, use it as an ostinato, use it as just a way to sit down and play with other people in an easy way. Easy for you, easy for them. All right, so everybody's happy. What we're going to do is I'm playing with the metronome here, 90, uh, 95 beats a minute, and I've got a half note, or a half, not a half note, an eighth note, half a beat. So this is my main beat, and then I'm just putting on the subdivided beat or the eighth note just to kind of mark it, mark the time. And we're going to be playing this kind of thing. So we're going to actually be dividing the beat into sixteenth notes. So the first thing I would invite you to do is to tap along in a sixteenth note, like one e and a two e and a right left right. To get your little motor going. I'm going to put on some 16th notes just so you can hear. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. And then let's start, once you got that, let's start to bring out some accents, right? So down, through. we got the right hand kind of pulsing. Left, boom, do 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 one, a two and three, a four and one, a two and three, a four and one, and a two and three. All right, something like that. Let's try that. One e and two e. I'm gonna take the sixteenths out. So those are sort of like bass tones. But notice I'm mute, I'm kind of playing in a muted fashion. I'm not playing, I'm not playing all open. Congas are a subtle instrument. We have a lot of different sounds that we make on the congas. So you can go kind of full on muted. Where you're really on the drum, uh, you could go anywhere from there to, you know, a little more open. But it's basically a Pretty muted, subtle sound, just marking time. Now, we're going to introduce the open tone on the end of that, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and three E and a four E. That's it, just open tone. It depends how you're counting it. If you're counting one and, uh, one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four, or one E and a two, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a, however you want to count it is fine, however you break it up. But you, you've got the, uh, the rhythm there in your ear now. Play along if you'd like. Two, three, hey. So 
so you want to be feeling Now, once you got that, let's make it a little more interesting and de-emphasize the second beat, one, a two. Let's bring out the uh, one, uh. So instead of one, a uh, two, we're gonna just play one, uh, one, e, and a uh, two, and. So we've got three main beats here. The downbeat, which is gonna be, I would say, secondary. And we've got the uh, uh, on the left hand, a bass tone, and then the and on the open. And those are the two notes that we really want to emphasize. Still alternating my hands. There's nothing tricky about this. We're just alternating. So don't lose that little motor. Deca, deca, deca. <laughs> But I'm just going to bring out the one E and a uh, to and. All right, let's go and hear what that sounds like. Do your best to follow along. Here we go. If you want, you can put in a little double open. From there, you're adding accents, kind of playing around uh, and doing that, all right? That, I think, is pretty groovy, if you can get to that point. Now, notice, as a finer point, and this would be for you players that are, want to get a little more into the genre, into the feel, all the 16th notes or the 8th notes, however you're counting them, they're not evenly spaced. There is a little... There's a little swing to it that also... Another topic for another day. The best way I think you can grasp that and get this micro timing, or what we call the groove or the feel, is by listening and playing along to a lot of, listening to and playing along with a lot of music, a lot of traditional music recorded uh, by professional percussion groups, musicians in that genre. So if you want to get that Afro-Cuban feel, Brazilian feel, West African feel, you got to listen, 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 play with uh, some of those players, if you can, take some lessons from those players who are experts and represent that genre. But one thing you can do right now is to get some of the music, get it uh, however you want to get it, down, hopefully buy it, and then listen and play along with it. All right, so that's, that's another uh, component, and that's what we call the feel or the groove. Um, that is micro timing. Right now, we're really just focusing on the macro timing, the, the big timing. All right, so one more time and uh, go ahead and, you know, you can improvise uh, this pattern. And then, of course, if you get to play with a friend, hopefully, or in a group, you can improvise on top of the pattern. You can hold this down, play the tumbao for someone else, and they can play a complementary rhythm um, and or solo improvise on top of it. But this, when we play this pattern, we really want to provide a foundation for other players. We want to hold it down, get that groove going, and just... Let it lay in there and enjoy it. Enjoy the feel of the music. It's not about being fancy. It's about being friendly. <laughs> Here's my tumbao. All right, I'm Kalani. This is World Drum Club. Like and subscribe, hit the bell, share this video. If you're a music educator, uh, post it. You know, go ahead and post it on your, your Facebook groups or whatever, your blog, your vlog, your log. This information is for all of us, all right? It's not, we're not keeping it secret here. So go ahead and share it. If you'd like to connect with me more, go to patreon.com slash Kalani. Uh, you can uh, become a patron of the channel and get more over there. 
and whatever you do, go make some great music, play for some people, get some people dancing. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for joining me.